So here we are underneath the cork oak. And the cork oak is where we get cork from. And which part of the tree? It's the bark. Here's some I prepared earlier. We're more familiar with this in wine bottles, keeping all our wine in. Um, but it's one of the most sustainable crops that there are. Now the, the bark of the cork tree is unique and that it can be harvested without cutting down the tree and it will regenerate itself. We have to wait about 10 years in between harvests for the bark to grow thick enough for us to collect corks out of it. Now 10 years is a long time in between harvests so there has to be another source of income. Traditionally this would be rearing pigs which is why you'll find all the model pigs underneath our cork trees. Why are we keeping pigs underneath the cork trees? This is because the cork tree is actually a cork oak. And what grows on oak trees? Acorns. Now pigs love to eat acorns. And so for most of the year, it's true to say that a cork farmer is really a pork farmer.